Good morning, everyone. Um, am I loud and clear for you? Yes, madam. Good morning, Dr. Good morning. Um, I'm clear to you, right? My voice is clear, right? Yes. Okay, great. Thank you, I Oni. All right. Uh, hi, Isma. All right. Thank you, Farah. Now, um, okay, today is our first class eh, of hydraulics. Um, now, most of you, uh, I believe you have already taken hydraulics in your diploma studies. Am I right? Yes, doctor. Uh, yes, that's doctor. So, so you, I would expect you to get good grades then. Right? <laughs> um, okay, and I think I better use Malay. <laughs> okay. Um, disebabkan sem hampir semua dah pernah ambil hydraulic semasa di diploma kan? Jadi, uh, saya jangkakan result you all akan bertambah baik kan? Sebab ni kat kira kali kedua kan? Ambil hydraulic, betul tak? Betul, betul. Betul. Oh, okay. Auni. Okay, nanti saya tengok eh, Rizal Auni. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for the feedback. Okay, um, you guys want me to teach in Bahasa or English? You can do both, madam. Alright, great then. Okay, both eh. Now, um, here's the thing. Uh, I have, if you, um, if you want to see recordings of my hydraulics lecture, you could actually go to YouTube and search for my name lah. It's either Tan Lai Wai or Lai Wai Tan lah, something like that eh. Uh, then you'll be able to find my previous lecture videos. Um, I would only upload this video upon request. Uh, however, there are quite a number of videos already uploaded eh, in my channel, um, YouTube channel eh. Uh, just in case you miss anything, you can go, always go to that YouTube uh, channel. Um, now, another thing would be, I normally start my class sharp on time. If it's 11, then 11 lah. Um, because I think some of us may hate to wait for, you know, <laughs> because we already have our uh, uh, schedule for other things, right? And, okay. My class would normally ends early before two hours. Typically only one hour. Why? Um, if I get to listen to, you know, lecture or, you know, <laughs> meetings too long, I'll get very sleepy. I believe you are the same too. <laughs> all right. So I won't go too, too long, all right? It's approximately one hour, all right? Um, now, um, today is our hydraulic class. Let me introduce myself. You can actually call me Miss Tan. Eh? Uh, my, my family name is Tan. Um, if you have graduated, you can call me Lai Wai. My name is Lai Wai. All right? um, I'll treat you as a colleague as well if you have graduated eh, from your program. Um, so you can call me Miss Tan throughout the class. Um, now, um, you can actually, I, I guess most of you are not in campus, am I right? May I know who are at the campus? Could you raise your hand? You have a button of raising your hand down there, right? May I know how many of you is at, uh, are at campus? None of you. Semua di rumah masing-masing eh? Tak ada yang balik universiti? Yeah, uh, Okay, semua dekat rumah eh. Okay, kalau gitu, um, tak, tak, sebab kalau you guys ada di campus, um, I'll let you know where my office is lah, just in case you want to ask question kan. You can always come and find me. I'm Normally, I'm at my office lah, alright. Um, Pejabat saya di tingkat 6 eh, just in case if you are here, tingkat 6 bangunan South East Tower. Okay. Um, dan saya mengajar hydraulic ni dah lama eh. Saya mula mengajar di UTHM ni sejak 2002. Uh, kira dah almost 20 years lah I'm here eh. Um, 
Now, since today is first our first class, right? Do you have any question to ask? Um, to ask me? Ada soalan tak sebelum kita mula kelas kita? Tak ada eh? Okay. Ke you, you guys nak introduce yourself? Uh, actually, you guys are a number of you. Uh, there are almost 62 of you. Jadi, 62 or 63. So, mungkin I'll get to know you lah as time goes by within these 14 weeks eh. Uh, so, let's let's us move on lah. Uh, so that kita, kita cuba for one hour eh, today. Alright, so let's look at what we are going uh, to face for hydraulic class. Eh? Um, I in the chat box I just share a link that would be your attendance uh, please fill it up eh, for your attendance record so now you are actually looking at the lecture plan I'm actually sharing the lecture plan with you right now okay I hope it's uh, I hope it's large enough eh uh, for you to see clearly. Actually, I've already uploaded this lecture plan in author. Uh, for those who are not in author, let me know. I'll admit you in the author. I can admit you individually lah, just in case your name is not registered in this section. I'll, I'll do that for you, right? But of course, you, have to, you still have to go through the registration process eh, manually uh, within this week. If you look at this lecture plan, right? Okay, basically what you are going to learn about hydraulics would be, um, here's the thing, eh? um, at the end of your program, which is a Bachelor of Civil Engineering with Honours, you you will be graduating, most likely, eh? um, uh, if you chose to be civil engineer, that means you'll be graduating and you'll be working as civil engineer. Now, what would civil engineer be involved in? Eh? Uh, whatever it doesn't matter whether you are involved in road construction, building construction, or whatever, you need to provide drainage system. Now, the importance of learning hydraulics would be uh, you, in this in our course here, you'll get to know various kinds of uh, channel section. Uh, for you to design uh, for your drainage system. Uh, you get to know, you know, how to make sure your drainage capacity is sufficient uh, to, to cater for uh, certain discharge. Of course, we cannot, you know, we cannot expect there will be no flooding because we cannot build a drain that is so huge that to, to accommodate for, you know, for example, 100-year ARI uh, or 100-year return period rainfall so that the, the drain would be so huge that, you know, it can support that 100-year ARI rainfall. No, we could normally, eh, for urban area, is 10, 20 or maybe maximum 50-year uh, return period rainfall only. Uh, therefore, um, once a while, you encounter encounter flooding as well. Uh, this is what we are going to learn in hydraulics, hydrology, and urban stormwater management. If you are going to take that uh, elective call, elective lah, in your third, uh, in your, you know, in your fourth year. In hydraulics, we also would learn about hydraulic structures. For example, we are. Uh, Swiss gate, those structures are used to control flow, uh, measure uh, rate of flow, all right? And then what else? In hydraulics, we also uh, get to do analysis. For example, if you have dra a drain which has, you know, um, different width along the, chan uh, along the drain, um, 
what you are going to analyze is you must you will be able to check whether you know the the reduce in width will um will cause backflow or with the flow flow smoothly and things like that sometimes you have to reduce the width of the channel because due to for example you need to build um uh, or you can't acquire so much land for that drain or you want to build a bridge so when you build the bridge piers right it will actually reduce the river width and things like that lah. so there is you know certain things that you can you you actually need to analyze as a civil engineer um uh, these are the the some of the things that that need hydraulics uh, knowledge all right and of course um in this hydraulic course it will prepare you lah to analyze and also to design eh, uh, for drainage so you will be you will be graduating as a dra uh, drain or hydraulics designer at the end of this course all right okay um the coordinator for this course would be uh, one of nizan um he'll be teaching section two I'm teaching section one. All of you are in section one, right? Um, so every week we are going to have four hours of meeting. Um, I'm going to see you for four hours where two hours on Sunday and another two hours is Wednesday. Eh? Um, Okay, now, um, so I'm going to see you. It doesn't matter whether it's lecture or tutorial because we never know when our course, because I normally have the tutorial question embedded within the lecture notes. So I'm going to use all four hours eh, to meet up with you. Um, hydraulics is uh, it's actually a lot on exercises. You need to do a lot of exercises to get good grades. Um, you need to do practice lah, all right? Then there's no pre prerequisite. Okay, let me talk about course learning outcome. Um, now this course learning outcome is actually a part of outcome based education. If you have, uh, heard about the term of outcome based education, uh, outcome based education is, um, an approach of education where we actually have already determined what outcome that you are going to get now for example in this course right at the end of this course you are you'll be able to analyze uh, uniform and non-uniform flows in open channels hydraulic structure and machineries um, you will be able to discuss eh, technically uh, about regarding open channel hydraulics problems and you will be able to respond in group because there there will be one project given to you where you are going to solve it uh, in group, uh, as a group lah, all right. So, now if you look at all this, eh, how CRO 1, 2, and 3, which is this one, eh, CRO 1, 2, and 3 are delivered. These are the methods, eh, delivery methods, and these are the assessment methods, all right. Um, now, this is our plan, eh where week one i'll try to finish chapter one um it doesn't matter don't worry i might drag into chapter two i might go slower all right so don't worry about that uh, so chapter two um we'll cover chapter two between week two and week four and you actually can you know uh read go through it by yourself because this is already uploaded in author um now about assessment your final for this course, there will be a final exam which constitute 50%. Alright, so you have another 50% of coursework. Here's the thing, it's not difficult to get an A. You only need 80 marks to get A. Of course, if you want to get A+, plus, you need 85 lah. You see, you have coursework of 50%. Percent. Let's say if you get 40 something, you only need some, you know, um, 30 something in your final exam out of 50% to get an A. 
to make sure your coursework, you, you maximize, you get as much as possible in your coursework. That means you can easily score in your assignment, your project and your quiz test. I wouldn't guarantee on it, but that's only, you know, only cover 20%. So you have 30% we can you where you can actually score maximum there. Lah. All right. So assignment 5%, project 20%, quiz 5%, and you only have one test, which is 20% as well. All right. Um if you have question, stop me at any time. All right, I'll answer your question. Um I have uploaded the main reference book in author as well, which is a, an open channel hydraulics by Venti Chow. All right, this is a very good book. Um, most of my notes is also based on uh, Chow's book. All right, mm, what else? All right, make sure you have attendance of at least 80%. Now, if you have difficulties in attending the class let me know it, for example you know if you are not feeling well send give me a copy of your medical certificate your mc eh? um, or if you need to attend your convocation uh, give me the you know your letter of invitation to your convocation and things like that um, i i probably would you know uh, let you off lah, but of course you are you are absent. However, I'll let you off by by attaching all you know your your letter or whatsoever lah, alright in your attendance uh, record. So make sure you know your attendance is eight, at least eighty percent eh, in our class. Um, I'll spot check eh <laughs> your attendance from time to time. Okay. So now, if you don't understand what is PLOPO, this has page four onwards, you have the uh, description on what is program learning outcome, what is WK, which is the uh, knowledge profile eh? and things like that. If you need further understanding, let me know. I can explain this further. But for our class, I think the lecture plan is sufficient. Eh? All right. Now, um, let's start our chapter one. Okay, uh, boleh nampak eh? Bab satu, okay, good. Uh, thanks eh, Isma, for, you know, switching on your camera. When you note, I know you un you can see it well. Thank you. Okay, so kita tengok eh, bab satu eh. Um, now, bab satu ialah mengenai aliran dalam saluran terbuka. Um, bila, kita, bila saya cakap saluran terbuka, maknanya kita fokus pada saluran je. Dia mungkin uh, saluran buatan manusia seperti longkang, parit, dia mungkin saluran semula jadi. The natural open channel such as river, alright, or whatever dish lah, okay. Uh, jadi macam-macam semua ni kita panggil saluran terbuka. Uh, nanti saya terangkan apa maksud saluran terbuka. Sebenarnya pembentung yang macam pipe tu kan. Kita pun boleh kategorikan saluran terbuka tapi ada ciri-cirinya yang boleh kita kategorikan sebagai aliran saluran terbuka. Ya. Now, bila kita cakap flow in open channel maknanya aliran dalam saluran terbuka. Uh, bila kita sentuh pasal aliran dalam saluran terbuka, kita biasanya analisis aliran tersebut. Maknanya ukur dalam aliran, um, you know wetted parameter, parameter basah. Eh. Uh, Bila kita cakap flow area, maknanya uh, kerat, luas keratan rentas aliran saja, bukannya luas keratan saluran. Eh, uh, jadi kena kena faham bila difference of flow in open channel dan juga hanya open channel saja. 
Kita cakap open channel tu maknanya struktur tu sajalah. Flow in open channel tu maknanya berkaitan dengan aliran. Alright. Okay, kita tengok eh. Um, actually, that the, I think you probably have taken fluid mechanics before eh. Uh, fluid mechanics, mekanik bendali, kita biasanya belajar aliran dalam pipe. Pipe flow eh. Uh, kalau masih ingat uh, kita mengkaji kehilangan tenaga dalam aliran dalam pipe uh, menggunakan Hazen Williams, Moody Chart dan sebagainya eh. Uh, kehilangan disebabkan geseran dan sebagainya lah. Uh, yang itu ialah aliran dalam pipe. Dalam khusus hidrolik kita ni, kita tengok aliran dalam saluran terbuka saja. Jadi kita kena tahu perbezaan dia. Aliran dalam pipe ni ialah aliran penuh dalam pipe. Dalam pipe kan, dia sebabnya aliran tu berlaku disebabkan oleh tekanan dalam pipe tersebut. Dan aliran tu sebabnya memenuhi keratan pipe tersebut. Eh. Jadi dia tak ada permukaan atas yang terdedah kepada uh, tekanan atmosfera. Tapi kalau aliran dalam saluran terbuka, okay. contohnya pembentung kan, aliran dia separuh sahaja. Jadi bila aliran separuh, permukaan dia tu sebenarnya terdedah tau kepada uh, tekanan atmosfera. Jadi sebab tu saya kata walaupun dalam pipe, tapi permukaan dia tak memenuhi pipe, pukul lilit pipe tersebut. Jadi itu dikategorikan sebagai aliran terbuka juga. Terbuka kenapa? Sebab permukaan aliran tersebut terdedah kepada tekanan atmosfera. Okey, itu bezanya eh? aliran dalam pipe dan aliran dan saluran terbuka. Now, um, apa lagi perbezaannya? Okey, um, hydraulic grade line in pipe flow does not coincide with water surface. Why? Sebab dia selari eh. Okay. Now, manakala hydraulic grade line coincide with water surface in open channel. Sebab at, at one point kalau V squared eh, uh, V squared over 2G tu kosong, you punya energy grade line actually akan sama dengan water surface. Ah, uh, Okay. Maknanya kalau tak ada, tak tak berlaku aliran lah. Okay. Tak berlaku aliran. Kemudian maximum velocity occur at center of flow. Um, Kalau lah. I think you have learned this in your fluid mechanics. Um, kejap eh. Saya share another slide here. Um, actually, this slide is from chapter 2. Eh? Uh, this is the velocity distribution in open channel. If you look at the image on your far right end, okay, uh, gambar yang paling kanan sekali ni, okay, ini ialah keratan memanjang. Eh? Oh, keratan memanjang, kalau kita tengok, ini ialah permukaan aliran Halaju maksimum sebabnya berlaku di kedalaman 0.2 daripada ukur dalam. Uh, ini ialah V maksimum. Kemudian kita ada V average yang berlaku 0.6 eh. Why not daripada permukaan. Kenapa permukaan bukan maksimum? Sebab ada uh, faktor daya geseran disebabkan angin dan sebagainya. Jadi maksimum berlaku di uh, bawah sedikit daripada permukaan air. Tapi ini ialah open channel eh. Tapi untuk pipe flow, kalau ingat pipe flow kan kita ada boundary, dinding atas, dinding bawah. Kita ada maksimum halaju berlaku di tengah-tengah. Dan this sebenarnya simetri eh. Dinding kiri, dinding kanan, simetri atas ataupun dinding atas bawah lah. Uh, simetri dan taburannya you akan tahu kata halaju maksimum berlaku di tengah-tengah. Ha, itu bezanya antara you know open channel and also pipe flow. So I'm going to stop this. So I'm going to go back eh, to our slide. Okay. Okay. 
All right then. Um, what else? Uh, I think I've already go through eh? maximum velocity also velocity distribution. I talked about it already. So maximum ve velocity occurs a little distance. Eh? Depends on. Okay. Now, ada satu lagi um, ciri-ciri. Eh? Ada satu lagi ciri berkenaan dengan aliran dalam saluran terbuka. Eh? Uh, sebabnya taburan halaju juga bergantung kepada kekasaran permukaan saluran. Uh, kalau perasan kan saluran-saluran yang ada di luar sana, uh, kita ada saluran yang mungkin dilapik dengan rumput. Ada saluran yang konkret. Okay, ada saluran yang, you know, uh, rip wrap, rocks, batu-batuan. Uh, jadi biasanya yang concrete, yang smooth tu, halaju dia lagi laju lah. Halaju aliran dia eh. Berbanding dengan yang uh, berumput, uh, itu dia lebih kasar dan juga yang berbatu. Lebih kasar eh. Jadi dia, daya geseran dia bertambah eh. Daya geseran di dinding. Uh, itu melambatkan halaju. Okay. Okay, apa, what what are the practical applications eh, for open channel uh, flow studies? Uh, this is this is actually the importance of knowing hydraulics. Eh? We can actually um, analyze or get the depth of flow in rivers, uh, canals, or other open channel uh, open channels. Uh. Um, we get to know or we can analyze the changes in depth of flow due to channel control for example if we have weir um, now weir you can actually see see weir structure at dam dam structure kan dekat empangan kan dia sebenarnya menggunakan weir untuk um, untuk uh, untuk tujuan ukur aliran dan sebagainya alright and also spillways and gates uh, spillways maknanya ada di um, di atas empang eh, uh, bertujuan untuk, uh, sorry, sorry, spillway is the way, alright, wheel is actually to control, you can open the uh, gate, uh, flood gate and things like that lah, alright, okay, so this we are going to learn about all these structures in chapter 5, okay, now, the knowledge of hydraulics also um, help us to know the changes this is basically the depth, eh? River. When I say river stage, it's actually the depth of uh, flow in river lah during floods. Um, you get, you actually get to know more, eh? to learn more, if you further your study in master or PhD, where you get to learn about um, unsteady flow. Uh, I forgot to inform you that in our hydraulics. We only learn about steady flow. But of course, the concept of unsteady flow is still there. Uh, but however, we only learn about the concept, eh, but not the analysis. Tapi kalau kita nak buat analysis, uh, unsteady flow, um, you get to learn about it in your master's or PhD studies lah, if you are interested. Eh. Um, now, what else? Surface runoff from rainfall over land. Optimal channel design. I talked about this earlier. Eh? Uh, of course, surface runoff or rainfall over land is um, you can learn. You can actually um, learn about this in your project later, where I actually use the simplest method, which is the rational method, for you to understand all this lah. All right. So we'll get to it. All right. Don't worry. Okay. Now, um, we have half an hour to go. Eh. Okay. Um, about flow, let, let's look at the first, um, you know, parameters that we are going to learn about this uh, open channel, eh? uh, flow in open channel. So, when I say flow in open channel, all right, we'll look at the depth of flow, Y, normal depth D. Now, what is the difference of Y and D? Uh, tetapi, dalam hydraulic khusus kita, eh, biasanya kita guna salah satu je, Y or D, dan kita sebenarnya, um, kita tak tunjukkan beza lah Y dengan D Tapi kalau lah Masa you all sambung pengajian um, Semasa-masa dan PhD You kena bezakan kedua ni eh Tapi um, untuk degree Kita kita tak bezakan sangat lah Kita guna pakai je mana-mana satu It's fine uh, Depth of flow Kalau tengok rajah ini kan Kalau kita tengok rajah ni 
uh, Y ni sebenarnya measured vertically daripada free surface to the uh, channel's bottom. However, the normal depth is the depth measured perpendicular to the channel's bottom. Uh, sebenarnya saya cakap tak beza sangat sebab open channel ni, slope ni lazimnya kecil, landai eh. Jadi, of course, we are going to learn about steep slope tu lah later. Tapi, walaupun steep slope, lazimnya uh, di open channel, in open channel lah, this is quite small. So, there's no difference between D and Y eh. Uh, slight difference lah. There's slight difference. Uh, not much difference. So, we can use this, um, you know, I, either one lah, it doesn't matter. Okay, I talk about this already eh. For most application, D is almost equal to Y since theta is less than 10 degree lah. Alright, because if you have cosine, um, if theta is 1 degree eh, cosine 1 degree is almost 1. Uh, that means D is almost equal to Y as well eh. Okay, but, but you need to know eh. When you said normal depth and depth of flow, you need to know what's the difference as well lah. Alright. Okay, what is flow or discharge? Uh, I, I would actually say what is the rate of flow or discharge, Q. It's actually the volume of fluid passing a cross-section. That means along the channel, we look at one cross-section, right? How much of fluid pass through that section over a unit of time? Uh, so we have a volume of fluid divided by time. So we have the rate of flow lah basically eh, which is the discharge. So that's why the unit would be uh, meter cube over second. In SI eh, it could be liter over second. All right. Um, okay. Now what is wetted perimeter? Okay. Oh, another uh, parameter would be mean velocity. Um, if you have learned about continuity equation, you know in continuity equation, Q is equal to A times V. Alright, that means discharge is equal to um, the flow area times vel velocity or mean velocity. Eh? Um, so mean velocity is actually equal to Q over A. Lah. Um, now, why I'm using mean velocity? Eh? Look at this. Eh? Uh, oh, sorry, sorry. Remember just now I show you in chapter 2, right? You have this distribution of velocity, right? You you have, uh, you know, on, on the surface, it has a different velocity. At 0 0.2 depth, it has a velocity. And along the depth, right, it has actually different velocity. So we are taking mean velocity. Just one velocity, all right? at a certain cross section lah. So that is the mean velocity. We'll just assume one velocity. That's why we are using mean velocity. However, in the subsequent chapter, we are just using the term velocity. I hope you understand eh? Okay. Now, where that parameter P, okay, what is P? Is the length of channels parameter that is wetted or covered by flowing water. Uh, kalau perasan di sini kan, okay, kita tengok eh. Ini ialah aliran eh dalam saluran terbuka. P ni ialah perimeter yang basah, yang dibasahi oleh aliran. Uh, itu ialah wetted parameter P. Sebab ramai student yang salah, dia bagi saya P ni diukur dari atas permukaan Uh, hingga hujung atas satu lagi. Bukan eh, dia ialah uh, parameter yang basah sahaja eh, yang dibasahi oleh aliran. Okay, so A would be, ini pun sama eh, bila saya cakap A, alright, typically eh, ialah mungkin ada instances yang kita cari A untuk channel, tapi ini ialah A untuk uh, luas keratan aliran, maknanya uh, luas Luas aliran sajalah eh. Okay. Uh, ini ialah bottom width B denoted by B eh. Kita ada top width juga iaitu lebar permukaan atas eh. Bukan lebar sal atas lebar uh, atas saluran eh. Tapi lebar atas permukaan aliran. Okay. What is hydraulic radius? Uh, radius Hydro radius would be A over P. Uh, unit is in uh, meter, eh? length scale. Eh? It could be meter, it could be inch. Uh, it doesn't matter. Eh? So, 
uh, formula ni senang eh um, kadang-kadang kita bagi kadang-kadang kita tak bagilah dalam test eh alright so nak ingat uh, I always remember rep lah R equals to AOP rep however since R the unit is in uh, length scale kan meter kan so it should be you know area divided by P area is uh, length squared eh this one is in length alright so you'll get length lah alright Hydraulic depth is the average depth of uh, irregular cross fraction. D is equal to A over T, eh? All right, which is uh, this area divided by T, then you get a certain depth. Lah, all right, because you know it actually A is, uh, you know, T times a depth, right? A certain depth, right? You'll get A, right? So in order to get the D, it's actually A divided by T, lah, all right? Okay, now on this slide, right, um, you will get to see various sections of open, of drain lah. Basically, this is surface drain eh. This is available in JKR, uh, standard surface drain. When you want to design, okay, uh, for drainage system uh, under JKR project eh. Okay, doesn't matter you are from private company or uh, under uh, government agency. Uh, this is the standard that you need to refer to. So you have a trapezoidal channel, all right, trapezoidal, but different channels lining. Eh? You have earth drain, that means no, no concrete or whatever, just earth. Eh? You have cast in situ, you have stone line. And this is what we know as egg shape, macam egg, eh? Uh, ni kan, egg shape kan Alright uh, This is precast concrete eh? That means this is precast Readily uh, prepared by um, factory eh? It's already made uh, It's already precast So you just have to line it in a channel eh? Alright So it's up to you Okay, which one you want to use Alright Of course, there are certain uh, for example, trapezoidal, if you realize, it'll take a lot of sp uh, area again, space again. If you have a lot of land, all right, that you can take, all right, without, you know, without too much cost, then you can do use trapezoid. If you have, uh, you know, not much land area left, all right, for the uh, reserve, uh, then you need to use this, lah, all right, smaller uh, area, all right, top area. Now, you also have triangular, all right, and then uh, egg shape, all right. This is for roadside drain. Just now is for tow drain, eh? So, you have different kind of drain lah. Okay, there are more types of drain in the standard JKR. Um, I'm going to share the standard JKR uh, with you for the project as well. So, don't worry about this, eh? You'll get the whole set lah, basically. All right, this is actually taken from Venti Chow's reference book. Okay, you have, uh, if you look at here, you have seven uh, various sections eh, of your drain uh, of open channel. You have rectangle, trapezoid, triangle, circle, parabola, all right, and round cornered rectangle, uh, uh, what round bottom triangle. Okay, so you have seven. However, Typically, what we are going to learn in our class would be just these uh, four sections, all right? Which is a triangular, uh, rectangular, triangular, circular, and also trapezoidal. Okay, now, let me go back a bit, eh? Okay. <laughs> Tri rectangular, the flow area eh, would be B times Y, lah, which is the width, uh, width of the flow times depth of the flow. So, you have A, Y. At BY, sorry. Top width is the same as B lah. Alright. Uh, let's assuming that we are going to use the, um, you know, the variables of B and Y only. Okay. Uh, and Z. Huh? B, Y and Z. So, what, what is the weighted parameter? Can Isma give me the formula of weighted parameter? Isma? Oh, yes. Ah, what is the formula for weighted parameter? Uh, 
if you look at this this diagram here ah uh, yeah guna so, hanya gunakan p dan y saja apa formula p so apa we p uh, p yeah tambah yeah ah uh, dua y betul Okay, you are right. Thank you, Isma. So, B plus 2Y. Okay, so that's easy for you, ah, Isma. Let's try this, eh. Uh, kita nak tanya orang lain pula, eh. Uh, so, there are 66 of you here, or 65 of you here. Um, I'll call you randomly, eh. Can I have um, Enric Chong Tet? Is Enric here? Enric? Yes, doctor. Okay, Enric. What is the area for this triangular? Just use Z and Y only. Uh, 1 over 2Y. Uh, uh, again, sorry? Uh, area 1, 1 over 2. 1 over 2, yes. Uh, time by T. Times by Z, okay. Uh, is it that's all? 1 over 2 times by best? Okay. Um, what if I say is Z Y squared? Uh, oh, okay. Half Z Y squared. Do you agree? Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, uh, yes, doctor. Okay. <laughs> agree. agree. You agree with me, eh? Uh. <laughs> no, no, it's Z Y squared. See? Okay. Now, how do you get this Z Y squared, eh? I'm going to show it to you, eh? All right. Just a second. I'm going to switch my camera, eh? Stop sharing. Um, just a second, eh? I'm. I need to switch off the lights first. It's actually raining heavily here. Um. Okay, you are able to see this vertical, right? This triangular, sorry, this triangular section, right? So, this one here, basically, all right, is 1 to Z. This is the slope of this side slope of the vertical, uh, of this triangular, all right? Okay, now. Okay, now, if I'm going to have my dimension here, this would be Y and this would be my Z, Y. Agree? Yes. Agree. Agree, yeah. Okay. Okay, much better, right? Okay, now, so what would be the area? This one is actually, I can build this, you know, this, this, this part here, I can fill this up here. So the area would be Z, Y times Y. So it should be Z, Y squared. Okay, eh? clear eh? about this? Okay. Now, so you are clear already. Let's stop this. Let's go back to our slide. Okay, now, um, okay, I need somebody to help me with the top width. I want, uh, Jaswin Murugia, 
Is Jasmine Murugia here? Yes, madam. Okay. Jasmine, what is the formula for of top with in terms of Z and Y only? I'm going to go switch switch to my the other camera eh okay so if you look at this what is the top width here this is z y this is z y so what would be my p Jasmine? Yes, madam. What is my T then? Okay. Isma tahu jawab ke? Isma, nak tolong? Uh, T dia uh, Z1 uh, plus Z1. Yeah, so it's two Z1. Betul? Okay, thank you. <laughs> okay. Um, Jasmine, you go, did you get it? Boleh tak, Jasmine? Uh, yes, madam. Okay. Now, after that, I'm, got, I'm not going to switch already. Eh? The weighted perimeter. This one. What is the weighted perimeter here? That means this, this, this weighted perimeter. What is this? How do you find this in terms of Z and Y? Macam mana nak cari panjang perimeter basah ni? Okay, nak, if you want to find this slope, right? Okay, this this slope here. Remember last time we have this formula of uh, if you want to find, let's say, let's assume this is my L, all right? So L is y squared plus z squared y squared. Agree? Can only one side, all right? So you have to times two lah. That means or plus another set of this, or I can actually times two of the whole thing. So I have two L. That means this is equal to two. So I have two L, all right? So this is the one. Okay. So the formula would be weighted parameter is two. Now I'm going to factor my y squared, eh? All right. So I have y out of it. All right. So I have 1 plus z squared. Easy? That means one side, if I just consider one side, it's just y square root of 1 plus z squared. However, because the weather parameter, I'm taking both sides, right? The two sides, that means I I have y plus uh, y square root 1 plus z squared. Another side, y square root 1 plus z squared. So I have 2 y square root 1 plus x squared. Any question? Tahu tak macam mana dapat ni? Saya terang sekali lagi eh. So, I just consider one side only eh. One side only. L yeah. is, boleh? Setakat ni boleh kan? Yang ni kan? So I'm taking this y out eh. Because this is y squared right? And this is hasil darab right? Alright, this is multiplication kan? So this become y Setuju eh? Okay. So this is only one side. This side only. So for both side we times two lah. Okay, I know that you probably have another formula, but here's the thing. Um, in chapter two, three, and four, we are going to utilize this Z, you know. 
Ah, uh, this slope here. So it's better if you will just use you know this standard formula that we learn here. All right, boleh eh? Okay. Ah, uh, Miss. Yes, ayer. Uh, hmm. May I know how to get area is equal to zy square? Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I, I thought uh, we have agreed already earlier. Okay. Now, this is the scale of the slope. Okay. So, if this is y, y is equal to 1. Okay. So, z, the horizontal uh, scale, would be equal to z y because if you divide this by y you divide this by y you are going to get back the slope which is 1 to z agree eh kan kalau ini bahagi dengan y dapat satu balik ini bahagi dengan y dapat z balik tapi ini tak ada unit lah ini yang ada unit tak kisahlah ukur dalam dia berapa meter kan tapi ada unit y meter. contohnya kalau meter meter lah y meter ini z y meter setakat ni boleh eh huh? Okay, okay. Okay, so, alright. You see, eh, if I want to get half of the area, it should be half times y times z y. Setuju tak? Yes. Okay, so if you add another half, that means you don't have this anymore again. So, a is uh, sorry, sorry. A is 2 times half y plus z y. So you are going to get z y squared. So the slope z, the slope z is at by honor. This slope doesn't have unit one, it's just a scale. Oh, okay. Uh, um here's the thing eh um if okay um i'm going to show you the slide wait now nah. i'm going back this one uh, but this is just too small but but it's okay all right Mm -hmm. um, now, the importance of that scale, eh, you look at here, you, you, if you look at this um, trapezoidal section, if you look at it, the side slope has a scale of 1 to 1.5. Why? Now, for example, this time, okay, it's 600 meter, that, that, that's fine, it's 600 millimeter, eh? 600 millimeter, so your horizontal distance would be 1.5 times 600, that means 900 millimeter. Um, how are you going to, okay, uh, in this case, it's clear cut, uh, 600. For example, in this case, uh, it's 1 to 3, the scale. Now, oh, okay, no, no, I think I better use this one. This is also the slope is 1 to 1.5. Now, if you are using 600 meter, is fine. But can we increase this? Yes, because it says 600 minimum. So what if we calculate already, we say the size of the drain need to be increased so that it can cater for more flow. So we'll increase this to 900. So... In line with this increase 900, your width will also be extended. Am I right? Extended as much as what is 1.5 times. You said you are going to increase the depth to 900, right? So 1.5 times 900. So this is the uh, purpose of we are having this scale here. That means the slope would remain. Um, when you, it doesn't matter if you are reducing or increasing the depth. So the slope will keep on remaining and it actually your, um, the distance, horizontal distance will actually increase proportionally to this scale here. That means to the slope of 1.5. Boleh eh? Faham tak? Faham. Ah, faham, okay, faham. good, good, good. That's good. Okay. Saya cuma risau you tak faham saja. Okay. So it, itu, um, Gunanya eh, ada skala ni, maknanya kalau you uh, uh, dalam kes ni you tak boleh 
kurangkan ukur dalam lah tapi you boleh uh, tinggikan uh, kedalaman saluran kalau tinggi pun slope ni tetap sama tapi you kena panjangkan dia punya uh, lebar ufuk sajalah itu saja eh uh, jadi scale ni berguna sebab you can, boleh maintain slope dia slope dia ialah 1 to 1.5 sama eh macam vertical tadi uh, triangular section tadi eh alright So, oh, sorry, I think we should go back to that slide. Okay. okay, now, I think by by now you know how to get your triangular formula ready eh, for A, P and P. Uh, now, although we are going to provide this, uh, most probably we are going to provide this table to you. However, you need to understand where you get it. Um, say macam ni lah eh Kalau you belajar something You rasa benda tu mudah You senang ikut tau You tak rasa susah Kalau awal-awal dah rasa susah Nanti makin kita mendalami kursus ni kan You akan rasa macam lagi susah nak belajar Jadi kalau tak faham Tanya saya awal-awal Saya cuba bantu eh Sebaik mungkin um, Harap You rasa kursus ni mudah dan senang skor. Itu itu hasrat saya lah. Alright. Okay. Now, trapezoidal section. Um, kalau you tengok eh, trapezoidal section ni eh. Sebenarnya dia ialah gabungan rectangular dan kiri kanan dia sebabnya dari, daripada triangular. Ah, okay. So, you are the tri uh, trapezoidal lah. Now, boleh tak saya minta... Uh, Idlan Haris Muhammad Idlan Haris Bantu Muhammad Idlan Are you there? Idlan Haris Muhammad Idlan Haris Tak ada eh? Ya yes, saya Okay yes. nasib baik Baru balik dari washroom eh <laughs> <laughs> Okay Idlan Nak tanya Macam mana nak cari area Untuk trophizoidal ni? Okay, sementara tunggu Idlan kan. Uh, Nur Husna binti Muslim. Sediakan jawapan untuk top with eh. Nur Husna ada tak? Nur Husna. Ada me. Ha, sediakan dulu jawapan untuk top with. Sediakan. Nanti nanti saya tanya jawab terus eh. Okay, kemudian Piria Ravindran. Is Piria Piria? Okay, prepare answer for weighted perimeter. I'm going to ask you later. Okay. okay, so sekarang ni bagi jawapan area dulu. <laughs> Siapa tadi? <laughs> tadi saya tanya siapa eh? Idham eh? Idlan, Idlan, Idlan Haris. Ha? Idlan apa jawapan ni? Apa? Apa jawapan area untuk trapezoidal? Uh, BY plus ZY square. Ah Betul. Macam mana you dapat tu? <laughs> fikir lah. <laughs> oh ya yeah, ke? Yeah. Fikir-fikir je. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. Betul. You are right. Okay. Sama ada you tengok nota <laughs> ataupun you memang faham lah. Sebenarnya Tadi saya baru bagi tips kan. Saya kata trapezoidal ni kalau tengok dia sebenarnya gabungan rectangular pada section ni eh tengah-tengah ni dengan kiri kanan dia sebenarnya kalau cantumkan kiri kanan dia dia ialah bentuk triangular. So kalau you tengok formula dia dia memang betul B times Y plus ZY squared. Okay. Uh, so itulah. Dia sebenarnya kalau you tengok formula ni B plus Y. Tapi you tak boleh buat yang sama eh untuk ini. Uh, kena hati-hatilah. Uh, kebetulan kalau ni boleh boleh lah Okay tak apa Okay now uh, You are right Okay kalau ada yang tak faham nanti uh, Boleh PM me lah <laughs> PM tepi ke apa pun boleh lah Okay now talk with Tadi saya tanya siapa eh Untuk talk with eh uh, Saya saya ah, Usah usah tolong tolong jawab usah uh, Dengar tak suara saya ni Sangat jelas sangat kuat dan jelas uh, Okay <laughs> Okay, uh, jawapannya B plus ZY. Betul, bagus. Okay, it's actually B plus 2ZY. 
Uh, kalau daripada kiri ialah ZY plus B plus ZY. So you ada B plus 2 ZY lah. Okay. Kemudian Piria. Weighted of, weighted of parameter Piria. B plus 2Y square root okay. of 1 plus Z square. Okay, correct. Now, why we didn't account for this 2Y? Because if you look at this trapezoidal kan, CCD tak ada yang... Uh, menegak kan? Dia sebenarnya, sebenarnya hanya ada sisi ni saja. Jadi it should be y square root 1 plus z squared plus b plus y square root 1 plus z squared. Uh, jadi you combine them, you have b plus 2y square root uh, 2y square root 1 plus z squared. Okay? So you have that. Okay, now about this circle, don't worry, okay. Um, I, I'm, I'm just going to give you formula and I'm going to explain to you. Eh? Now, what is D? D is the diameter. Remember that, eh? It's not the radius. Of course, it's two times radius, lah. you'll get diameter. The formula would be D squared over 8 times 2 theta minus 2 theta. Now, if you don't believe me, you can check. Use 2 theta as 360 degree or 2 pi. You replace with something. Uh, let's say you can have d 2 meter. It doesn't matter. You check with your formula of uh, pi d squared over 4. You are going to get the same answer. Uh, kalau tak percaya. Okay. Jadi, now. Macam mana nak guna formula ni? Tengok eh. Kalau kita guna 2 pi. Okay, 2 pi ni sebenarnya uh, ialah sudut yang dirangkumi uh, oleh uh, kalau you tengok sini ya, jejari yang uh, daripada pusat ke uh, satu hujung permukaan aliran eh. Uh, so, ini ialah sudut eh yang dirangkumi eh, 2 pi ni. Okay, now dalam formula ni 2 pi ni gunakan Okay, hati-hati eh. Dalam calculator you eh. Calculator you, you can actually set it to radian or degree. Betul tak? Bet setuju tak? Calculator you, you boleh set radian dengan degree kan? Ya. Uh, betul, betul. Ha. Betul, betul, betul. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Kalau you set calculator you radian, 2 theta dengan 2 theta boleh guna dalam radian tau. Sebab sine 2 theta... Uh, that means you automatically 2 theta tu, tu you gunakan dalam radian lah. Nilai radian. Oh sebelum tu saya nak tanya satu soalan dulu. Okay. Uh, mungkin saya nak tanya Vivian. V Vivian. Are you there Vivian? Vivian. Uh, yeah madam. Okay. Um, how do I convert? Macam mana saya nak tukar 180 darjah kepada radian? Uh, ataupun soalnya, soal, saya ulang eh. 180 darjah tu bersamaan dengan berapa radian? Ini matematik yang kita belajar saya rasa secondary school kot. <laughs> Sekolah menengah yang kita belajar. Okay, okay, okay. Saya ulang, saya rephrase eh soalan saya. Satu pi bersama dengan berapa darjah? Satu pi radian. Um, tiga, tiga, one, one, four. Okay. Betul. Satu pi bersama dengan three point one, four, one, two, something lah. Alright. Tetapi dalam darjah? One hundred e. Ha, correct. You are right. It's 180 degree. So 2 pi, kalau lah 2 pi ni, kalau aliran ni penuh eh, kalau pipe flow lah penuh, 2 pi would be 360. Uh, sorry, uh, 2 theta would be 2 pi or 260, uh, 360 degree eh. Saya ulang eh, I'm, I'm going too fast. Kalau lah aliran pipe ni penuh, 2 pi kita akan bersamaan, sorry, Tu tita kita akan bersama dengan 360 darjah kan? Iaitu bersama dengan 2 pi. Sebab tadi Vivian ataupun Aung ni eh bagi tahu saya 1 pi bersama dengan 180 darjah. Now kenapa saya nak you tahu ini eh? Sebab 
kalau you nak selesaikan persamaan ni, kalau lah calculator you dalam degree, you cannot te, you cannot use eh, kalau lah contoh, saya bagi contoh, kalau dua theta ni lah 200 darjah, kalau assuming eh, 200 darjah, saya tak boleh guna 200 darjah di sini tau. Sebab kalau lah saya solve sin 200 darjah, dia akan bagi saya nilai dalam Uh, satu nilai yang dalam radian lah, ok uh, tapi saya tak boleh kata guna darjah tolak nilai, sebab unit dia tak sama kalau saya nak guna 200 tolak sin 200 darjah unit dia tak sama eh, jadi you kena convert 200 darjah ni kepada pi tolak sin 200 darjah kalau calculator you dalam degree, kalau tidak you, you cuba nanti sama tak, eh Tak apa, uh, we have exercises later you uh, uh, you are going to realize it, eh, the problem. Uh, jadi, kalau 200 darjah nak convert kepada pi, that means you are going to have 200 darjah bahagi 180 darab pi. Uh, dan kalkulator boleh kan tekan pi je kan? Uh, so, it will give you value in radian minus sine 200 degree. If your calculator is in degree mode eh. Kalau your calculator is in radian mode, okay, you can convert 200 in radian. Uh, that means 200 divided by 180 times pi. You can use the same value here too. That means 200 divided by 180 times pi. It doesn't matter. So I hope you understand when you want to solve this, it should have the same unit lah both sides eh. Okay. Uh, sorry, saya kena explain yang ni sebab memang ramai yang akan tanya nanti. Akan confuse eh. Saya luangkan masa sikit lah untuk explain ni. Okay. Uh, D sine theta. So, because this is trigo function eh. You can use this in degree lah. Uh, remember this is just theta eh. Jadi, is you kena bahagi dua lah eh. Untuk dapatkan uh, sudut ni. Uh, kalau calculator you dalam degree. You can use this in degree. Kal kal your calculator is in radian. That means you have to convert this in radian. Eh? Uh, I believe so lah. Alright. Okay. Only you know eh. Okay. So in this case. Okay. If your calculator is in degree. You cannot use degree eh. Be careful eh. Or your answer would be in degree. No. When I said weighted parameter. It should be in length scale. Uh, jadi convert theta ni kepada radian eh. Uh, contohnya tadi kita kata 200 darjah kan. So 200 bagi 180 kali pi darab dengan diameter. Baru ia akan dapat watt per meter. Kalau tidak, contohnya 200. You letak 200. Sorry. Uh, theta means uh, 100 lah. 100 darab diameter. You, your perimeter will, will be very huge eh. Sangat besar nilai je. Uh, jadi macam pelik lah eh. So we have to be careful. Okay. Um. Saya nak buat satu soalan je untuk hari ni. Sebab kita kelas pertama kan? Satu je. Nanti ada satu jam lagi. I'll let you off. Okay. You tolong saya buat satu lagi soalan yang ini eh. Okay. You tolong jawab soalan ni. Tapi saya akan go through satu soalan je. Okay. Uh, so that because I promise you it's going to be just one hour right our class. Okay. Tengok eh. Water flows in a triangular channel with side slope. Uh, okay. Three horizontal, two vertical. Horizontal, ufuk kan? So, Z kita ni tiga. Vertical, tegak kan? So, V kita ni dua. Okay. Uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, saya sebenarnya kena cakap, kena be careful eh. Bila vertical dua, Z kita bukan tiga eh. Ha. Sebab Z ialah apabila yang menegak ni satu. Okay. Jadi can I ask somebody Tan Jin Siang. Are you there? Tan? Yeah. Okay. What is my Z if the side slope is given as 3 to 2? What is my Z? My vertical should be 1 right instead of 2 right. So my Z should be? 3 over 2? Yes, correct. It's 1.5. Correct. Thank you. Uh, sebab 
tegak perlu satu. Okey, jadi kita nak dapatkan tegak satu, kita bahagi dua. So, Z kita ialah, maknanya uh, tegak dan ufuk bahagi dua ialah 3 over 2 lah. Z kita ialah 1.5 eh. Ya, yeah, okey. So, soalannya find Z. Oh, kita dah jawab jumpa Z eh. Okey. Y ialah 2 meter. Find A, P, T, R and D. Okay, let's do this. Alright. So, I'm going to switch this to another camera. Eh? Okay. Um, kalau saya conteng di sini, you all nampak jelas tak? Boleh eh? Boleh nampak eh semua? Boleh. Okay, thank you. Boleh. Alright, terima kasih. Okay, Z kita dah jumpa iaitu Uh, kita kata 3 bahagi 2 iaitu 1.5. Z tak ada unit eh. Again, is uh, is a dimensionless uh, scale. Alright, so I have 2 meter here. So what is the question? The question asks for A. Okay, what? You still remember right? The formula for A which is Z Y squared. So I have 1.5 times 2 squared. So 4 times 1.5 so it's 6 eh? meter squared. Easy kan? Alright. So you can do it too eh? You can do the, solve the question with me as well. So what is the weather parameter? Weather parameter is 2y square root 1 plus z squared. So you have 2 2 1 plus 1.5 squared. So give me the answer please. Tavanesh? Can you give me the answer, Tavanesh? Uh, okay, let's do that. Thirteen meters. Huh? Thirteen. Twenty, yeah, two zero. Thirteen. 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 Oh, thirteen. Okay, one three, ah. eh? Okay, yeah, all right. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Ah, uh, yang lain, tolong saya mak, eh? Saya pun tak tahu betul ke tidak, eh? Okay, but I have the answer lah, eh? Later. All right. What is t? Uh, t would be two z y, which is two one point five times two. It would be six meter. Betul, eh? Okay. Then r. R is a over p which is 6 over 13 so 0 0.4 0.4 uh, berapa ah uh, soleha nor soleha fazila soleha yes madam ah jawapannya berapa 0.4 berapa 0.46 enam okey Uh, dalam kelas saya kan Saya sukalah kalau You all bagi saya empat Angka bererti uh, Jadi berapa ni? Uh, 0.4615 Okay thank you so much Kalau lah saya kata empat angka bererti kan Tapi kalau dalam kes Contohnya kan macam ni kan uh, Contohnya So bagi jawapan kat saya 1001.3 Doesn't matter Alright, so this at least one decimal point of uh, four significant number lah. Alright, okay. Uh, sebab nanti bab empat, uh, kita perlu empat angka berarti tu eh. <laughs> It's very important to have four significant number. Alright, in chapter four. So might as well kita kekalkan eh. Uh, cara kita bagi jawapan semua guna empat angka berarti. Alright, so finally D, the hydraulic depth. Is A over T Which is 6 over 6 Is 1 meter Okay, simple kan Bab satu ni <laughs> Okay um, So I'm going to go back To my slide Okay Okay um, 
nanti check tau. Uh, tadi Tavanesh, you give me a different answer. You give me one three. Uh, because uh, I asked my friend also. She she said she got 7.211. Okay, okay. Sorry, don't yeah. worry. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. Okay, um, my style would be, okay, normally right, after the end of the chapter, I'll share all the answers to you. Uh, so, 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 but nanti susah you nak check your answer juga kan? So I have I have solved all the question, all the activities already. So nanti at the end of chapter one, I'm going to share all the slides lah. All right, with you again. So um, so apparently if P here's the thing eh, dalam soalan kita hydraulic dia biasanya berkait tau. Contohnya tadi kalau P salah, R kita dah salah. Ah, jadi markah you all semua tinggal separuh separuh. <laughs> jadi kena hati hatilah dari awal tu kena betul eh. Ah, sebenarnya um, hydraulic ni kalau you tenang, you kira baik baik, ah, you sebenarnya ada banyak masa untuk selesaikan. Ah, tapi kalau you kalau kalut awal salah semua salah lah. Okay itu saja. Tapi ini betul eh. Tengok T betul, D pun betul lah. Uh, janji A betul. Kalau A salah, saya rasa semua ni pun salah ni. Ada efek R and D. Eh? Okay. So, um, I'll end my class eh. Uh, since we are already about one hour plus eh. So, saya nak you all cuba activity 1.2 boleh? Uh, you ada masa one, satu jam lagi kan sepatutnya dengan saya. So, spend... Saya rasa dalam 10 minit you dah boleh selesaikan benda ni. Cuba eh. 10. Kalau don't take up. Jangan ambil banyak mas, masa sangat. Kalau you ambil terlalu banyak masa. masa maknanya you tak faham. Uh, you kena cari saya lah. Tanya. Uh, try. Uh, tanya kawan dulu. Bincang. You are in the group already. Uh, sebenarnya lagi senang kalau uh, ada apa-apa. Tanya dalam group. Kalau saya tak senang jawab, mungkin kawan kamu boleh bantu jawab juga soalannya. Uh, jadi cuba yang ni. Jadi sekarang ni tips eh. 2 theta is 120 degree. So try the formula to uh, the formula for the area d squared over 8 kan. Ada 2 theta minus sine 2 theta tu kan. Uh, cuba semua tu lah. Alright. Dengan theta d dan sebagainya lah untuk selesaikan. Okay. Then um, on Wednesday, I'm going to continue um with after uh with activity 1.3 and uh the rest lah okay so i'll see you guys do you have any questions so far ada soalan tak untuk saya setakat ni sebelum kita habis tak ada, tak ada eh uh, no, no. Saya, okay again eh saya akan share attendance link siapa yang tak isi lagi mohon isi eh uh, saya akan update your attendance based on the Respond that I received today. All right. Thank you very much. See you guys on Wednesday. Thank you, Miss. 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 Miss, boleh tunjuk balik soalan tadi tak, Miss? Yang 1.2 tu. Tak sempat nak access. 1.2. Eh. Uh, yeah. No. You have access. You have the lecture notes already in your author. Oh. Okay. Uh, okay, then. okay. I actually add, add, add you and pre, pre, Priya already in. Oh uh, yeah. Alright. Okay. Thank you. Thank right. you. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you madam. You're welcome. Thank you madam. You're welcome. Miss. Ya, yeah, Faizal. Saya saya belum masuk dalam auto. Oh, Faizal Mubarak eh. Jangan lupa daftar eh. Saya hmm. saya Seta, kena saya sebenarnya saya belum daftar lagi sebab sebab hari tu tak sempat. Mhm. Uh -huh. Lepas tu uh, uh -huh. uh, 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 saya ada PM siapa tu uh, orang pejabat ah. Dia cakap uh -huh. kena isi borang lepas tu nanti minta dengan Minta tanya tangan dengan Miss. Okay, tak ada masalah. So, nah. saya add you lah Faizal. Faizal, okay. Faizal. Saya minta nombor matrik boleh tak? Mudah saya add. Boleh, boleh. DF. DF. 200. Okay. 085. Saya ulang eh. DF. That means Denmark, France. <laughs> 2. Cost 000085. Alright. Yep. Okay. Alright.
Okay, thank you. Nanti saya PM Miss. Boleh, boleh. Tak apa, tak apa. Saya saya masukkan sekarang ha. Okay. Alright. Thank you Miss. You're welcome. Okay. Assalamualaikum. Okay. Okay. <laughs> tak apa, tak apa. Syafika ada soalan ke? Sorry Miss, tapi nak isi attendance kat mana? Dekat chat. Ah, okay, saya copy. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Saya bagi okay. link saya lagi. Alright, sekejap eh. Okay, link tu. Okay. Oh, uh, tak, saya tak boleh nak isi. Oh, tak apalah. Kenapa? Ada link ke? Link ke? Ni, yang dekat, dekat, dekat chat ni. Dekat chat uh -huh. ni. Tak boleh isi eh? Okay, boleh, boleh. Ah, you, boleh? You're welcome. Alright. Alright. Right. Bye, Shafika. Bye.